Welcome back, everyone, to the show. My name is Jeff, otherwise known as Litecoin Leader. All that information is right here. I finally remembered how to point to this stuff. There's my Twitter handle. There's my website. All that diff- I got lots more information in the description. If you want to reach out, uh, to e- my phone number is there. It's on the website, too. Email me at jeff at litecoinleader.com. All that good stuff is out there. But today's video, much like the other videos I'm doing of late, is about Bitcoin basics. And this In this one, I'm going to talk about 21 million reasons why Bitcoin is superior to other assets. And the reason simply is the supply. We know exactly how much Bitcoin is ever going to be for all time. And it will only be 21 million Bitcoin that will ever be created. And I'm going to talk about how much there is today, how it's created, how it works, how it gets the supply drops, and so on. So let, let me first talk about 21 million reasons. So First off, we know that Bitcoin is an asset. We that's been defined by the IRS. We know that it's it's treated as such in financial markets. We know what Bitcoin is, okay? But it's the only asset where we know the ultimate supply. Where they can find more gold, they can find more silver. In fact, they did a story a couple of years ago where there was a mountain in, in in Africa somewhere. I don't remember exactly what country it was in, but they discovered the locals discovered that the mountain was made of pure gold. The first thing the government did was secure, rope it off and, and confiscate it because they don't want their local people to all be wealthy overnight. But that just shows you an example of how you can find more assets on the planet because we don't know how much gold there is. We don't know how much silver there is, oil, natural gas, whatever. All the different things that are out there that are treated as commodities or assets. And we do know how much real estate there is, but you know that, that those fluctuate as well or how much is available on the market. But Bitcoin, we know because it's written in the computer code that there will only ever be 21 million that ever been created. Where are we on that curve? Let me share my screen and I will show you this particular interesting curve. Now, it's a little small. Sorry about that. But you can see from and I don't know why they used red and orange lines, but the red line shows the declining supply over time. First, there was nothing. Okay, that was back in. 2009 when it all started and now uh, and the orange is how many bitcoin there are and the red is how much is left to mine and they always add up to 21 million again because the computer code is written such that that's all you get now the last dot on here is the end of october in 2023 this shows that 19 and a half bitcoin have 19 and a half million bitcoin out of 21 million have already been mined that means that's almost 93 percent I'm going to round it to 93% because we're in November as I sit here recording this video. And the remaining supply is less than one and a half million. So only 7% of Bitcoin is left to mine. This curve continues for all time, all the way up to, I think it's the year 2140. And the supply gets cut in half every four years. Now, let me drop out of here, go back to my screen. And I'll talk about this and why it's only ever going to be 21 million. First off, it's written into the code. Second, the, the only the are only the only people that are allowed to change what's written in the Bitcoin code or amend what the Bitcoin code says through through a process called the Bitcoin improvement process or the BIP process, which you may have heard before, because there are certain things that BIP thirty eight you may have heard that before. You anyone can make a proposal for to change Bitcoin. And you can say, I want, and and let's just say that tomorrow I said, you know what? I wish there was more Bitcoin. And I'm going to make a proposal that there's going to be 42 million Bitcoin starting tomorrow, starting as soon as this is approved. Now, the only ones that can vote on a BIP proposal are the miners, the ones that actually generate the Bitcoin, the ones that run the network, support the network, support all everything that's used, that supports the Bitcoin network. That's the miners and they vote. There's a certain method they do when they mine a block or mint a block, they vote in that block. So you have to think about the motivation of a Bitcoin miner. Bitcoin miners have economics for their, what they do, right? They, they, they're, they're running, the, uh, it's basically a business at this point. You're, run, you're running your miners, you're getting a return on that investment. And that math of your return on investment is based on 21 million of supply. Plus also the supply curve. Now the supply curve declines every four years um, based on the halving. I'll get to that in a moment. But let me finish the thought. Would a Bitcoin miner ever vote for more Bitcoin? Well, that would cut their revenue in half if they went from 21 to 42. So there is no business on the planet that I know of that would go out and say, I want to cut my revenue in half. 
that on purpose. That's not a good idea. They will never vote to increase the supply of Bitcoin. Now, the good news is that, well, first off, you know how much there's going to be. Second, Bitcoin is infinitely divisible. It's And no, it has eight, eight decimal places right now, with the last de decimal place being the, a Satoshi. So 100 million Satoshis equal one Bitcoin. So you can actually get when let's just say Bitcoin is worth $100 million per Bitcoin. You could get one Satoshi be worth $1. You could actually go and get that. Now you'd have to, I could send that to you, but it would be a transaction fee. So it would probably be wiped out because of the transaction. But regardless, Bitcoin is infinitely divisible. If this, they could add a ninth decimal place, a 10th decimal place. Again, they could vote on that through a BIP or a Bitcoin improvement pr uh, proposal. They probably say, sure, why not? If Bitcoin is worth that much, they need more decimal places. They would pass that and they would just make more zeros, which doesn't change anything. Just makes, uh, I don't know, mini Satoshis, micro Satoshis or whatever they were called at that point. So let's get back to the 21 million supply. Why does it go down? Why do we know this curve? Why does it eventually just kind of peter out and stop? Well, every four years, they have an event called the halvening or halving. Most people call it halvening. It's a little easier to say. And what happens is every 10 minutes, one of the miners solves a math problem first. And when they solve that problem first, they get the, they get to mint the next block and they get rewarded in Bitcoin. Now that reward gets cut in half every four years. Started at 50 Bitcoin, then it went to 25, then it went to 12 and a half, and now it's at six and a quarter. It's going to get cut again in the middle of 2024 to three, point, three and an eighth. Right. So it's going to go down. It's 900 Bitcoin a day. That's a little bit easier to think about in terms of it's 900 Bitcoin a day. Next year, it's going to be 450 and five years from now, it'll be 225 or 25 percent of all the Bitcoin that gets generated on a daily basis. Five years from now will be 25 percent of what it is today. That's how it reaches that almost that breaking point that in about 10 years or so, it'll be 99 percent mined. So it is a race to mine that last 7% or 6% as it were for the next eight or nine years. That is why we know how much is ever going to be. We can do the math. We can do business forecasts because we know exactly how much Bitcoin is ever going to be. So all miners ha have these, they know what the supply is going to be. They don't know how many blocks they're going to win, but they can kind of guess over time because it averages out based on how many, how much hash power or how many computers they're running to, as actual miners, because that's part of the math. But I just want to end this video there. Keep it very basic. The 21 million Bitcoin is a fixed number that will never change for the supply of Bitcoin. We're at 19 and a half million as of November of 2023 when I'm making this video. And it'll continue to go less and less down, less and less available over time because the supply gets cut in half every four years. So plenty said in this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll add this to the playlist and we'll continue on with the, the conversation. If you have more questions that you want answered or general basics, please let me know in the comments. And I look forward to hearing from you in the next one. Take care.